The Houston Rockets are a new, young, and exciting NBA team, and with the third overall pick, they selected Jabari Smith Jr. from Auburn, and today we're going to be doing a Houston Rockets rebuild. So the Houston Rockets, they got Jalen Green, Alperin, and Jabari Smith. Those are going to be the untouchables. I, I'll do that right now, the untouchable things, and we're going to make sure that we get a championship. I don't think we're going to be able to get Rookie of the Year. We'll try, but I'm not sure if Jabari is really going to be shooting that much in this team, especially since Jalen Green is going to be the star. Alperin is going to be the second option. Then Jabari is going to be the third option with Kevin Porter Jr. rounding that out. So we're going to be going with this right now. This is going to be our first year. We're going to let everything go the exact same. We might trade some vets that we don't have use for. Someone like Eric Gordon, we're going to probably look to trade. And we might trade Kenyon Martin. I've heard some rumors that Kenyon Martin doesn't want to be in Houston anymore. So I might trade him just for that. This is a great team so far. They're young. They can run fast. We're going to change the system proficiency to seven seconds. And we're three and a half. That's fine. This is going to be our lineup right now. It's Kevin Porter, Jalen Green, Tari Eason, Jabari Smith, Alperin Shangun, Jayshon Tate. And then we're going to have Josh Christopher with Eric Gordon's minutes and Ty Ty Washington with Kenyon Martin's minutes. So we'll do this. Let's try to find a trade for these two. Okay, I think we're going to be doing this trade. We are going to get the worst out of this, but I'm going to try to get a second round pick or a first round pick from them. They'll get Kenyon Martin Jr. and David Nwaba, who's a veteran who can help right now. And they'll have a young piece. Let me try to get a first round pick. Let's try 2025 first round pick. Let's see if they do this. Okay, they don't want to do that. We'll try to get a second round pick at least. Okay, they don't want to do it. All right, I'm fine with just this right here. I don't know if we're going to even play Kyra Lewis Jr. I'll try to trade him as well. Okay, they don't want to do it now, apparently. Let's go back to the trade. Okay, let's do this. And we're done. All right, so let's see if we can trade Eric Gordon now. We couldn't find a good trade. Everything was too unrealistic. So we'll try to find a better trade now. All right, guys, I could not find the trade for Eric Gordon. So that means Eric Gordon is going to be in the lineup. We're gonna still give Josh Christopher for the minutes. And where is Ty Ty? Why is Ty Ty not starting? Let's do Eric Gordon. He's gonna get Bobon's minutes. Bobon's probably not gonna play for us. And I'll keep Karis and Matthews in the rotation. This looks like what we're gonna do. This is our lineup. We're gonna have Jalen Green, 37, 27 for Kevin Porter. Tari Eason, 27 minutes, 35 for Jabari Smith, 35 for Alperin, 25 Jay Sean Tate, Josh Christopher, 19 minutes, Ty Ty, 15, Eric Gordon, 11, and then we'll finish off with Garrison Matthews at 9 minutes. So we're going to do for first option, Jalen Green, and Alperin will be the second option. Anyone else who wants to go can get the other option. We'll do play physical defense. And I think, I think we're all set. Let's start off the season. Hopefully, we'll get some Ws. I'll try to get to... I'll try to go to the trade deadline, and I'll see if there's any updates. If not, the season will be over, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Okay, we're at the end of the season. We did not make any trades, but we did win 44 wins, and we had 38 losses. Joel Embiid is the MVP. Paolo Ventura won Rookie of the Year. 19, 8, and 6 assists. Good stats. Andre Drummond got 6 man. Kawhi got Defensive Player of the Year. And Devin Vassell got Most Improved Player. Ime Doka was the Coach of the Year. And we're not too far off. So we might be pretty high seed right now, honestly. Let's see if we have anyone in the All-NBA team. Uh, no one in the All-NBA team. No one in the Defensive team. We do have Jabari Smith on the all rookie first team he was the third best rookie he had some great stats we're gonna look at all the stats right now see if there's anyone else i don't think we will yeah we have no one else on the all rookie team that's fine let's see what seed we are we're the fifth seed okay it's pretty good let's go check out the stats so the stats are jalen green got 24 points on good efficiency great efficiency actually Alperin got 17 points on good efficiency 
Jabari got 16. Kevin Porter got 15 pretty much. And Tari Eason with 12 points on great efficiency. Josh Christopher went up for 11 points. His efficiency was pretty good. And Ty Ty had decent efficiency at 8 points. I'm going to try to get Ty Ty to be the starting point guard eventually. I feel like Kevin Porter doesn't want to really stay here anymore. So if we lose Kevin Porter, we will have Ty Ty be the starting point guard. We'll try to get a point guard in the draft. So we're the fifth seed right now. We're going against the Dallas Mavericks who have Luka, of course, Clay Thompson, Josh Green, PJ Tucker, and JaVale McGee. So this is a pretty good team. I feel like our team is a little better, but they definitely have more experience than us. So this could go either way. Let's simulate the first game. We won the first game. Let's go simulate round. They won the second game. Okay. And it looks like we're going to lose in six. Hopefully we get a win. All right. We won one game. I think it's 3-2 right now. And we won another game. What is it? 3-3. Three, three. Okay. So the last game. Hopefully we win close uh looks like dallas is running away with it and we lost and in, in seven that was a great attempt we did good dallas has just has more experience hopefully next year we're gonna have the experience to be able to go and try to get the title let's see who wins the playoffs the celtics win Jalen brown is your finals mvp with 25 points five rebounds three assists so we're gonna go on to the next season. Let's go to the draft. So we're not in the lottery, so we're gonna skip all of this. Let's see what pick we have. We have the 14th pick via Miami. And do we have any other picks? We have the 20th pick. Okay, 14th and 20th pick. We can make some good selections. Let's see our staff. Staff is good. We don't need to switch anyone. Try to get a better trainer. All right, our staff is set up. Let's go to the NBA draft. We have two picks. We have one at 14 and we have one at 20. So hopefully we make a good selection. I'm going to skip to my pick. Okay, we're at 14. Let's see who we can pick up. Ooh, okay. Wow, we have a lot of good options, actually. I might go for Artero. He can be our backup point guard. He has a lot of badges looks like the best option wow he 37 badges i did put random randomized drafts so anything can happen so i guess he just he just got some badges in college a lot of badges so i'm gonna go for i think i'm gonna go for artero okay got him and then we're gonna try to get maybe a small forward at the 20th pick let's see what our team needs Point guard, we have we have our point guard now. Shooting guard, we're set on shooting guard. Small forward, yeah, we, we need a better small forward or backup small forward. Power forward, we're pretty set and center. So either a good center or or small forward. Could go for Elijah Fisher. He is he is one of the youngest players in the draft. He has 16 badges. Go for I think I'm going to go for Elijah Fisher and see if I could get a second round pick and try to get someone else. And okay, I'm going to go for Elijah Fisher, switch him to the small forward. 6-7. He can definitely play the small forward. Let's see, do we have any more picks? We don't. Okay, we're going to try to get a second round pick. Okay, we're going to try to do this trade. The first round, I think it's the 28th pick, and we'll give them a Brooklyn swap best. You don't want it. We'll give them a second round unprotected. Okay, we got it. So let's go to our pick, and then this will be our last selection. So he's still available. But I might go for a center or power forward. I think I'm going to go for Kyle. Yeah, let's go for Kyle Filipowski. And that, that's who I was looking to get. Anyways, I think that's it for the draft. 
so Derek Lively actually got picked first overall and Victor fell all the way to seventh pick to the Thunder so he's gonna be Victor and Chet power forward and center Derek Lively got picked first by the Hawks our pick at 14th he's Steve Nash or Jose Calderon so we're gonna give him a lot of minutes this year I think we're gonna let Kevin Porter Jr. walk Elijah Fisher he's Troy Daniels or Joe Harris I'm fine with Joe Harris we need a bench piece and our last pick Kyle Filipowski Greg Foster or Sean Lush. we need a, we need some good bench pieces I think we, we went off of a good draft I'm gonna sign everyone go to team player options we're gonna get Jalen Green and try to get Kevin Porter Jr. we can maybe trade him for a better player Okay, we're at player progression. We skipped the free agency period, and this is what our players progressed to. We have Jalen Green, 91, Alperin, 85, Jabari at an 84, Kevin Porter at an 83, Ty Ty at an 82, Tari Eason at an 81, Jay Sean Tate at an 80, Josh Christopher, 79, Harrison Matthews, 76, Usman, 76, Kyra at 76, Elijah Fisher 76, Eric Gordon went down. I'm gonna try to trade Eric Gordon and Kyra Lewis Jr. together. We have a lot of point guards, we don't really need them. I just wanted to skip free agency to, to see if we can get someone after since it was still too unrealistic, the trades. I can show a couple of them right now just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Let's go to Kyra Lewis and see what we can trade. So, look, this is a trade right here that makes no sense. Why would the Bucks trade Chris Middleton for Eric Gordon and Kyra Lewis Jr.? Makes no sense. We're going to keep looking, see if we can find a good, maybe just like a first round, anything, honestly. It's just Eric Gordon's contract is too high. That's our main problem. Okay, I think I'm going to do this trade, Russell Westbrook and Cole for... Aaron Gordon, Kira Lewis, and the first round pick. I just want to get rid of Eric Gordon's contract. I don't really want Russell Westbrook, so we'll put him in free agency afterwards. At least he'll be able to get maybe a team. We're going to pretty much buy him out. That's what we're doing here. Let's do Russell Westbrook. Release a free agency. And we're going to see if we can find a pick for... Or just a player for Kevin Porter Jr., someone we can use. But I'd be willing to do this right here, Kevin Porter Jr. for Precious and a first round pick. Let's see if they accept. I'm interested. So they want a first round pick back and a second round pick. I don't want Chris Boucher, so um, give me a second round pick. I'm down to do this. Okay, we did the trade. So it's gonna be our new team. Ty Ty is gonna be starting for us. So let's go to the beginning of the season. I'll see you guys there. Okay, we're at the start of the season, and this is going to be our lineup. We have Ty Ty at the point guard, Jalen Green at the shooting guard, Tari Eason at the small forward, Jabari Smith at the power forward, Alperin at the center, Jay Sean Tate is the sixth man, Josh Christopher is the point guard, Precious is gonna be the center, Usman is gonna be the power forward, and Elijah Fisher is going to be the shooting guard for the bench. So we have a great bench and uh, some great starters. I switched Elijah Fisher to the shooting guard again since I just wanted it to be like a perfect bench and starting rotation, if you know what I mean. Like there's a shooting guard, power forward, center, and backup point guard. So let's try out the season and see how we go. We'll see if we need to trade anyone or switch anything around, but so far it looks pretty good. I'll see you guys at the end. So Jalen Green got a bad injury, his broken left thigh, so that means we're going to make some room for Elijah Fisher at the shooting guard, and hopefully this team still does good. We're going to try to give Jabari and Alperin some more minutes, let's lower him to 8, Guzman will lower to 14, and let's do 35, 36. Okay, this is going to be our rotation. We're at the end of the season. We had 55 wins and 27 losses. Jokic is the MVP. Scoot Henderson got Rookie of the Year. Andre Drummond got Sixth Man. Giannis was the Defensive Player of the Year. And Ty Ty Washington is the Most Improved Player. I like to see that. I like to see that one of our people get an award. And so does our coach. He got the Coach of the Year 
I think we were the first seed throughout the whole season. And yeah, we did great. 55 wins. Let's see if we have anyone on an all NBA team. I don't think we do. Yeah, they're not giving us love. I think it's like honestly an overall team effort in our team since we don't really have any players. Let's see if we have anyone on the all rookie team. No, we didn't get. I thought we would get Elijah Fisher maybe there. So we're going to go look at the stats before we go to the playoffs. Our stats are 23 points for Jalen Green on great efficiency. Jabari Smith at 17 points on great efficiency. Alperin at 17 points on good efficiency. Ty Ty, 15 points, great efficiency. He did improve a lot. Josh Christopher, 15 points on great efficiency. We have a great, we have a great point guard rotation. We have two point guards averaging the exact same amount around the same efficiency. That's, a, that's just amazing that we can run that and then we have Tari Eason at 12 points I don't think he really improved too much yeah he actually went lower but it's not his fault the rest of the team is just at, it's just scoring more now and Elijah Fisher had a great rookie season Precious he kept getting injured I think he's so injured yeah and Jay Sean Tate did not so well honestly but that's fine he's not a good three-point shooter at least he's doing the defensive stuff on the bench for us and that looks like it's it we had our other rookies going on the in the G League so let's see we're the first seed we're going against Sacramento the Sacramento Kings have De'Aaron Fox, Davion Mitchell, Imani Bates, Keegan Murray, DeMontis Sabonis and we look like we have the better team I feel like our bench is better but their team is still pretty good so this could go either way honestly we got the first win and let's simulate okay let's let's change up the rotation a bit let's see okay. all right let's do what 2k wants us to do let's go simulate with simcast okay it's a tied series so far and looks like we're gonna get the win Okay, let's see. Let's simulate the next game. It's close, but Sacramento looks like they're gonna get the win. It's still pretty close, honestly. Let's see if we could jump in. And okay, the Sacramento Kings are gonna win. Okay, we can't lose this game. This is the last game. It's game seven. Hopefully we win this. And it's looking pretty close so far. And we okay, we won at the very end. Jalen Green had 30 points, five rebounds, and two assists. Ty Ty did great. Oof, okay, that was a close game. I can't believe we got this close with the eighth seed, but that's 2K for you. So we're going against the fifth seed Minnesota Timberwolves now, and they have a really good team. They might be better than us, honestly, but hopefully our first seed can help us get out of this round. It's going to be a close series, I think. Go simulate, and we might get a sweep. We got a sweep against Minnesota. I'm not going to lie, I thought Minnesota was going to win. They have a way better team. But I guess our young players are just too fast and too good at scoring, I guess. We're going against New Orleans now, which has CJ, Brandon Ingram, Trey Murphy, Zion, and Jonas Valanciunas. So I'd say we have the better team, but it's not too far off. I feel like we have a better overall team. They do have the best player, I think, in the series right now. And we won in five and we're going against detroit pistons with it's gonna be a great series because this is gonna be Jaden ivy versus jabari smith and Jalen green versus kate cunningham these are both draft rivals so let's see what happens simulate game detroit wins the first game we're gonna simulate with some cast and we won the second game Jalen green did good opera and went crazy he did amazing Ty Ty did great and Jabari did not do good actually but everyone else stepped up this is our third game and it's a close one but we won the third game also Jalen Green did good Jalen Green wants this championship but so does Kate he's doing amazing too Jaden Ivy did also good let's go simulate the I think this is the fourth game I think Detroit's got this fourth game. 
yeah, Detroit got the first, the fourth game, and yeah, Jalen Green just did not do good this this game, and so did Jabari Smith. Cade Cunningham did amazing. Okay, what are we at? We're tied 2-2 right now. Hopefully we get a W, but it's looking pretty close. We're not sure. This is a close game. I'm gonna try to jump in to go to the one minute. Okay, we're gonna jump in. It's a three point game, super close. This is one of the most important games in the series. Hopefully we take this one out. Okay, so we have the ball. Jabari Smith is gonna pass it to Jalen Green. See what Jalen Green can do with the ball. Looks like they're doing an ISO. Jalen Green goes right past him and does a floater to the rim and it goes in. Up five now. Let's see what Cade Cunningham can do with the ball. He has Josh Christopher on him. He's going to run right past him and do a layup. And it's in. Now it's a three-point game again. Jalen Green with the ball. He's wearing his jersey number four. Sadiq Bey guarding again. Sadiq Bey has great defense. I'm surprised Jalen Green is just going right past him. Oh, and a block from Jalen Duran. But Alperin gets a rebound, but he misses. Okay, three-point game. 24 seconds. Kate Cunningham goes straight to the rim and makes it in. It's a one-point game with 21 seconds. Houston Rockets did a timeout. Let's see what they can put out in the timeout. Let's try to skip through this. Okay, Alperin Shangun is the player of the game. What did he score? He scored 19 points on good efficiency. Okay, this is for the this is for game five. This is a oh my god. He went back court. Why does 2K do stupid things like this, bro? I wouldn't be surprised if we lose this game. Okay, Detroit has the ball. They're going to pass it to Jaden Ivey, Sadiq Bey. Let's see what happens. Jaden Ivey has the ball. Artero is guarding him. He's going to pass it to Cade Cunningham. Oh, he did not pass it. Jaden Ivey, he has the ball still. Tarot's guarding. Pass it to Jalen Duran, and he scored on top of Alperin. Jalen Green has the ball. Nine seconds left. Let's see if he could get a game winner. He has Cade Cunningham on him. Goes past Cade Cunningham, and he does a layup, and it's a miss. We lost. Oh, we fouled. They fouled Isaiah Stewart. So there's still a chance. I don't think we got it though. Isaiah Stewart made the first bucket, and. He made the second one. Okay. Pretty sure we lost. Let's see if there's a miracle bucket. Artero throws it up. And it's an air ball. We lost the game. We we're up, I think, five. And then Artero went backcourt. I don't know why they did not have Ty Ty starting. But the game's over. Let's try to go on to the next one. Okay, this is going to be our rotation for the final game. Let's put Ty Ty at the starting point guard. This is gonna be a close. We need to win this, or we're gonna have to. We're gonna lose the series. Two, three. Let's go. It's close so far, and it's super close. And we won in two. Oh my god! I should have jumped in. I didn't even notice. We won in two. What was the last bucket? Who made the last bucket? Let's see. So Tari Eason did a turnover, but. It was too late. The game was over. And uh, let's see. Who made the last bucket? Well, I don't know. I guess. I guess uh, Morris made the last bucket. Okay. Artero. So let's see. Um, see what the score was. Jalen Green had 32 points. He does not want to lose this game. He cannot lose to Cade Cunningham or he'll never forget this moment. So we're tied now 3-3, I'm pretty sure. It's home, Houston Rockets home, and we're going to win. Let's go. We won the championship. Houston Rockets win. Alperin Shangun got finals MVP. I think Jalen Green should have gotten it. He had he scored way more, but I guess Alperin's overall box score was better and he has probably better efficiency so we won in seven it was an it, it was a really close game hopefully we get another championship next year okay so not only do we win a championship but we're projected to have the sixth pick 
thanks to Toronto trading for, I think it was thanks to Toronto trading for Kevin Porter Jr. See, we're going to skip. And we got the first pick. So our sixth pick jumped all the way to the first pick and Toronto gave that pick to us. Wow. Okay, so not only do we win a championship, we also have the first overall pick. I'm going to pick the best player available. I just, you know, might as well. We, we should win this win this championship you know I, I definitely gave that dude way too much money let's give steven silas that amount and an assistant coach try to give him a 930k let's see okay we got everyone picked up all right now let's go to the draft with the first overall pick who should we pick up let's see Hey, Gregory Jackson is the best overall player. Who do they have us picking? They have Mikey Williams going first. That's not going to happen. DJ going first. DJ going first. Mikey going first. Kwame Evans going first. I might go for Kwame Evans, actually, because I think we need a small forward. Let's go to overall. Okay, let's go look at our team. Point guards, we're set on point guard. We do not need another point guard. Shooting guards, we're set. Small forwards. We have we have some good small forwards. We probably don't even need a small forward. Power forward, we're set. And center, we're also set. But it's always good to have an extra piece. So we might maybe we go for a backup center. I'm not sure what we go for. Because we have we have a good small forward, and we have good shooting guards, point guards. Okay, I'm gonna see if I could get a a good center to back up Alperen. Yeah, I think we're gonna pick up we're gonna pick up Kwame Evans. I wanted to use Kwame, so. We're gonna do that, he's a three point specialist. We got him first overall. Let's go to our next pick, and we have the 23rd pick. Let's see if we go pick up a center. Grady Dick is available, Jalen Lewis. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go for Jalen Lewis, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go for Jalen Lewis. And I don't need anyone else after this. Let's see, okay. Cool. Kwame Evans, Daniel Kalinari. That's not what we want to hear. Oh, I should have picked up. I mean, he's a 76 overall. Gregory Jackson, Tyrone Hill. So, I think we got a pretty good pick. Let's pick up everyone here. I could let go of Garrison Matthews. I don't really need him. I think I'm going to let him go. Pick everyone else up. Qualifying offers, no one, free agency. Let's see if we have anyone on free agency. Garrison Matthews, we do not need Garrison Matthews, so. Let's see our rotation right now. We have point guards set, shooting guards, we're good. Small forwards. I might put Elijah Fisher as a shooting guard again. Let's see, power forwards, we're good. Centers, we're good. Okay, so. Hmm. Maybe we trade for a better center. Like a backup center. But I don't know. We won the championship. I think we're all set, honestly. So, Upperin's at 87. Jalen Green's at 92. I think we're set. We'll see uh, if, we go, if we should pick anyone up here. Small forwards, power forwards, centers. We could get Christian Wood again, but... That's not what we're gonna do. Let's see, I might get Miles Turner. He'd be a good backup center for us. I think I'm gonna go for Miles Turner. Let's give him a. Let's see, how much does he want? How much does Miles Turner want? He wants 14 mil. Does he have any offers? No offers. 14 mil. Let's give him 15 or like. Do something around 50, I think 16.25 mil. 
for three years. Let's see if he does this. All right, we got Miles Turner. I think that's it. We're, we're good for the rest of the free agency. Let's go to player progression. So Jalen Green goes up one. He goes to 93. Alperin went up. And the rest of our team is looking good. Miles Turner did not go up or down, so that's that's fine with me. Should be uh, our, a good backup center for us. Okay, we have a great team. I'm going to see you guys at the, at the start of the season. Okay, this is going to be our rotation. We have Ty Ty at the point guard, Jalen Green at the shooting guard, Tari Eason at the small forward, Jabari at the power forward, Operan at the center, and then we have Artero coming off the bench, six man, and Miles Turner, seventh man, Josh Christopher is the eighth man, Elijah Fisher is the ninth man, and then Jay Sean Tate will round out the rotation at the tenth man. We have some great pieces just in case if anyone gets injured. I think this is gonna be this is gonna be the season that we win another championship. Hopefully, let me try to get some more minutes on Tari Eason and some more on Jalen Green. Let's do 27 Tari Eason. Oh wait, actually, let's give 30 to Operan and 30 to Operan and 30 to Jabari Smith. This is gonna be the rotation. Fine with that go to simulate regular season i'll see you guys at the end of the season so Alperin got injured and we're going to change the rotation a bit we're going to give Kwame evans a minutes over jay sean tate i want to see what he can do and let's go and simulate the rest of the season and we dominated but kate cunningham won the mvp we had 66 wins only 16 losses but Cade is the mvp at 31 points five rebounds five assists he has good stats DJ Wagner got rookie of the year, 20 points, five rebounds, and six assists. I, no, actually, I was gonna say maybe I should have gotten DJ, but we already had two great point guards. We didn't need him. We had uh, Patrick Baldwin getting six men of the year. Defensive player of the year was Giannis, and the most improved is Nikel Alexander Walker, and we got coach of the year. We did have, I think, the best overall team wins wise. Let's see, first team, second team, third team. We have no one on any of the teams. That's fine. That's fine. They're not respecting the 66 wins that we have, but it's all right. We're going to get another championship this year, hopefully. Let me not jinx anything, but we have anyone on any of the teams. Okay, we have no all-rookie teams. That's just because we didn't give too many minutes to the first overall pick, but we're, our team is just too good, honestly. We have like just a really good team in general, so not enough minutes to give. We're gonna give him a little bit more minutes, no dough now, so slower. We're gonna keep him there. Okay, 27 minutes. Let's give Alperin 30 minutes again. Tarisin will give him 25 minutes, and we'll give one more minute to Kwame Evans, and let's see what happens. We're going against Sacramento again. Hopefully we just sweep them this time. Their team got worse. Let's see if we get a sweep. Okay, we did not get a sweep. And we're gonna lose. Oh my god. I hate 2K so much. How do we go to seven with the first seed? And we're like so much better than this team. But okay, we won in seven. Let's go to back. And now we're going against the Minnesota Timberwolves, who have the exact same team they had last year. They're a good team. But our team should be better, honestly. We we got the first win. Let's see if we can win. Okay, we won in four again. We got another sweep on them. And now we're going against OKC. And I see Detroit is doing really good. So I want to do a repeat against Detroit. And Detroit lost in seven. We're going against the Celtics. We sweep the OKC Thunder. So we beat Chet Holmgren. How much did... Jabari Smith had 15. He had a better performance than Chet. So now we're going against the Celtics. Okay, the Celtics are the second seed, so they're a good team. Let's see who do they have. They have JD Davidson starting at point guard. Malcolm Brogdon is the shooting guard. Jalen Brown is a small forward. And Jason Tatum and Robert Williams are the other forward positions. This is a pretty good team. I'd say we're somewhat even, but our Point guard rotation is definitely better than theirs, so hopefully we can win just because of that. Down one, okay. 
down one two i should have simulated with simcast but let's see what happens now should win this this game right here so we're tied 2-2 right now simulate and we won the third game also and hopefully we can win this game if it's close i'm gonna jump in again okay it's close they're winning the celtics look like they're gonna win this game yeah the celtics won okay this is game seven we need to win this Hopefully we win this, get another championship on our resume. And it looks like we're gonna win. I'm gonna try to jump in and see the celebration. Let's, let's go fast. I'm gonna jump in. We're gonna see the celebration. We're gonna see our guys pick up the trophy. Let's go 20 seconds in. I'm, just, I'm gonna just shoot a bucket. Sorry, even though we're blowing out the Celtics, I'm gonna shoot a bucket with someone. I'm gonna try to. They have, I think that's uh, Jalen Lewis or Justin Lewis. Okay, he missed the first free throw. Couldn't even get a free throw for the Celtics. Number 60. All right, let's try to get a bucket with Jalen Green. How much does Jalen Green have? 20 points. All right, let's try to just blow past him. Okay, his sigs are not good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Otero and he got the three 149 I wanted to get it with Jalen Green, but hey, we got we got the bucket and we're gonna be winning the series Let's go. Okay, so we got two championships this year Houston Rockets Two championships Jabari Smith looks like the best overall player so far in the draft not overall, but he has the best He has the most team success from all the other players Jane and Ivy was close to having another battle against us but they lost and now we have Jabari Smith getting two championships Jalen Green gets two championships and so does Alperin oh Ty Ty and Tar Eason also get two championships from the 2022 draft here's Ty Ty holding the championship trophy let's see who's the finals MVP this year and Jabari Smith gets finals MVP. That is a great way to end it. This is a Jabari Smith rebuild and he gets the finals MVP on the very end. That's, we love to see that. Alperin, they're all, they're all having a great time. I try to skip this. Jabari Smith had a great last game, 22 points, eight rebounds. Maybe if I made that last point with Jalen Green, we, he would have, he might've gotten the finals MVP, but what a great series that was. One in seven. I think that's two years in a row we won in seven. Jabari Smith is the finals MVP with 17 points per game, seven, eight rebounds, four assists, 1.3 steals, and 1.6 blocks on great efficiency. We won two championships, Houston Rockets. Let's look at Jabari Smith's stats again. 18 points in the season, nine rebounds, six assists almost, one steal, almost two blocks, 50, 40, 90 almost. And he's just been increasing in, in points and rebounds. Everything's just been going up from the first season. Let's see his overall resume, two championships, one all-star game. I didn't even see that he got the all-star, but he got the first all-star in his first year. Got a first team all-rookie great overall resume let's see ty ty washington nba champion two time and the most improved player 87 overall and tari eason two championships and that's gonna be it for the jabari smith houston rockets rebuild i hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like subscribe and comment down below who i should rebuild next or what team i should do i hope you guys enjoyed have a great day peace